everybody, here's a little rhyme. It's TV time. Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and Fans with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to review Arrow Season 2, Episode 20, otherwise known as Seeing Red. Yeah, this episode had a huge ending, everybody. The last eight minutes were just jaw dropping, and I couldn't believe that it happened. Um, and what this episode mainly focused about was uh, Roy Harper. And Mora Queen. Uh, those were your two main factors in this uh, episode. Uh, first off being was with Roy. Um, you get to see him pretty much go over the edge at this point with the Murakuru uh, in his system. And we get to see the effects of what he's going through in this episode on how he's hallucinating, uh, how he's seeing Thea, and what's driving him crazy. Uh, no one can seem to get through to him. He has this crazy rage. And it's in, in most of the episode, you see Ali and Sarah um, actually trying to stop him. Uh, which I thought in the episode, if there's a gripe here, uh, was a little bit repetitive. Um, he didn't say much in the episode. He just basically, you know, whenever he saw somebody, he didn't say anything. And his hands would shake. And he would kick the crap out of somebody. But what really made you feel for the character at this point is what he was seeing. And again, in his hallucinations and what the Mirror Crew does is it makes you hallucinate. And um, Slade always saw Shadow and Shadow is always by his side. So now he sees Thea and uh, it's driving him to kill her because uh, you get to see that towards the uh, almost towards the end of the episode. Now, in the other aspect of the episode, you get to see the episode focuses heavily uh, on Myra Queen in this episode. And there's a reason for that, okay? Uh, you get to see her deal with Oliver McQueen because you find out some history about uh, Ollie, uh, about how he had an ex-girlfriend and he actually got her pregnant. And uh, he, uh, Myra actually paid off his uh, ex-girlfriend to say that she lost the baby. And it, it was crazy. So you get to see uh, some history there between mother and son and on how uh, Myra actually covers up her secrets. And, and, and it's crazy how many secrets she actually has. And it's funny in the series, she's always kind of annoyed me a little bit until this episode. Uh, it's like she really redeemed herself, and I'll get to that point as well. Um, so you see flashbacks and, and what they represent towards how she handles her family and her affairs and things like that. And then uh, towards the end of this episode, um, you know, you get to see what happens with Slade, Thea, and Ollie and Myra, and you're just like, oh my god, okay. Um, basically what happens is after the, uh, mayor's speech, uh, Moira at first, uh, thought that she was going to drop out of the race and hand over the election basically to brother blood. Well, in the end, she looks at her family and she talks with Ollie and, um, you know, she wants to do really good for the family. So she continues running for mayor and, you know, on their way home from this, this speech, um, you know, right as a commercial just about happens, boom, uh, you get to see the limousine get hit and you get to see, uh, of course, what happens uh, between Slade and the other characters here. And they're put in the situation just like what happened on the island between Shadow and Sarah and Ollie. And Slade puts him in that same situation, Thea, Myra, and he gives him a choice. And what happens in the end is Myra actually stands up for herself and she's just like please kill me and at first you don't think it might happen but Slade just goes wah and just freaking stabs her and kills her and you're just like oh my god but you really got to you know you know give Mara the props for doing that uh 
as a mother, you're always going to, I guess, sacrifice for your children. And that's what she did. And I thought that was phenomenal. You also find another secret out in here that you find out that Mara finds out that uh, Ollie is, is the hood. Uh, so she knows that secret as well, which I thought was amazing too. And uh, yeah, I mean, this episode overall was, again, fantastic. I think that, again, Roy Harper is not my favorite character in this series. Um, he's just seems a little, I don't know. I'm kind of, I just never liked his anger issues. He's always so angry. And in this episode, he doesn't say anything and they're so focused around chasing him. And it was just like, I, I just, I don't like him as much. Maybe, you know, when they learn to control him and he becomes a hero or whatever it is, then we'll see what happens. Um, uh, so, you know, I don't like him. Uh, Myra, again, she ha had redemption towards me. I totally give her props on, you know, sticking up for herself. And in the end, she sacrificed herself. And I think the episode did a great job at uh, reliving the flashbacks and focusing on her character more. And, uh, you know, you find out another thing with Sarah uh, in this episode that uh, she was ready to kill um, uh, Roy. And she kind of just breaks up with uh, with Ollie, which I wasn't huge with. So it looks like she's off the show for a little bit anyway. Uh, and uh, again, you know, uh, overall, what got me the most was the ending. And I think for a lot of the viewers, the ending got, you know, the most attention here. And whenever Slate is brought into the spotlight in this show this season, I think it's just like, oh, my God. And I think it's going to boost the popularity of Deathstroke uh, tremendously from this show. Um, overall, the show was fantastic. I'm going to give it a, um, a four and a half out of five stars. Again, I'm not a huge fan of that Roy Harper situation. I thought it was a little bit repetitive there. Uh, but then when you got towards the end of the episode, it really, really picked up. There's only three episodes left. I can't wait to see what happens. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how Thea and Ollie really get along now um, on how he he's going to have to share his secret with Thea because she's going to have all these questions on how uh, on what happened uh, on this island and, and what Ollie's going through and what his history is with Slade and it, it's just she's going to have all these questions and he's going to have to give up that that secret that he has. So, again, excellent, excellent stuff. Can't wait for these last three episodes. Guys, please leave me your comments below what you thought of Arrow episode 20, Seeing Red. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until the next review, this is Mike Spider Slayer. Thanks for watching, everyone.